Hello and welcome to our family workshop. In this video, we are doing a little bit of a comparison. We've done some videos where we did some scroll saw blade trials and sharing our own thoughts and experiences of working with Pegasus blades, Flying Dutchman blades, and also Nikwa blades. Now, from the outset, it's worth noting that these are our own experiences, our own thoughts. You may have other experiences and you may have other ideas on these companies companies and blades and that's great we're not saying that we're right but if you are interested in scroll sawing and you are looking at the different blade options that are available to you hopefully a little bit of insight might be useful if we start with Pegasus blades, they offer a wide range of different blades and they make good quality scroll saw blades. We found their hook blades particularly useful because we're working mainly in hardwoods. We also found their reverse tooth blade a regular choice for ourselves, the reverse tooth blade. We found that it was a good quality blade and did the job successfully. However, if we compare the Pegasus number 9 reverse tooth blade with the Nikwa Speed reverse tooth number 9 blade and the Flying Dutchman number 9 reverse tooth blade, out of the three, it was actually our least favourite. The number of different scroll saw blade offered is certainly a strong point of what they have to offer. Basically, they have something for everyone. So if you enjoy working with spiral blades, Pegasus have an option available. You've got things like modified geometry, the reverse tooth, standard tooth, skip tooth, hook, all sorts of different options. So that is definitely a strength of Pegasus blades, is the amount of different types that are available. This is also useful if you are working in a variety of different materials. For example, hardwoods, soft Softwoods, plywood, MDF, and so on. When we worked with them, there was one clear issue that we identified. And again, we're talking from our own experience, so other people working with other scroll saws and other people in their own work may not have encountered this problem. We found that there was an issue of the blade slipping out of the holder. Quite a frustrating thing to happen. And it didn't just happen with one blade, and it didn't just happen on one occasion. It happened time and again. But there's obviously something either in the material or the finish that they apply to their blades that was creating this issue for us. We found a solution, as we always do. We found that if we roughed up the ends of the blades, sanded them down, they gripped far better, and the issue was remedied. However, it's a frustrating thing to have to do, and it is something that took away from our enjoyment working with the Pegasus blades. It is worth noting then, they did seem to last well, they are well-made blades, and if they they are the best option and the easiest to get hold of out of the three options we are providing you. They certainly are good scroll saw blades. Moving on then to Flying Dutchman blades, and we found these were very good quality too. They're well made, there's something for everyone. Again, if you use spiral blades, I actually found that their spiral blades were the best of the three options available. When it comes to their reverse tooth number nine blades, it was equally as good as the Nikwa Speed. So if you have easy access to Flying Dutchman blades, they're well made, they're good quality, and they do the job well. I have to admit, those are actually the blades that I spent the least amount of time working with. There's a simple reason for this. They're the most difficult for me to get hold of here at our family workshop. 
and I found that they were the equal of the Nikwa Speed Blade that has been our choice of blade for over the last 20 years. So if it's easy to get hold of them, Flying Dutchman blades are certainly well made, good quality and fantastic to work with. Myself, I will be interested in spending more time working with them as well to find out do they last longer than the Nikwa Speed Blades. If they do, then it is possible that in the future, the Flying Dutchman blades will become our blade of choice. But due to the fact that they are more difficult for me to get hold of, they come in behind the Nikwa Speed Blades. Blades. So we've given it a big build up. We're on to the Nikwa blades. There's a good side and there's a downside. Basically, you have to be careful in terms of the blade that you get. Make sure it's suitable for the material and the job that you're doing. So I actually bought Nikwa Fix reverse tooth blades and they were completely useless. We have to make sure that we get hold of the right type of Nikwa blade. So the one we recommend for working in hardwoods is the Nikwa Speed. The Nikwa Nikwa Speed Reverse Tooth Number 9 Blade. Fantastic blade has done us thousands of hours of work. They do have a tendency to snap from time to time. Recently, we had a few comments in our comment section about the Nikwa blades, and some people were having issues where they were finding that the blades were drifting as they were cutting. I have to say, I've never come across that myself. I've always found that they're good blades, they don't drift, and they do the job. But it is worth noting, different people have had different experiences. Additionally, it is possible that our blades have always drifted and have just got used to it. At the end of the day though, I found that these blades are really good and they are still my blade of choice. The Nikwa Speed Reverse Tooth Number 9 Blade. Let us know in the comment section if you've got any questions or if you want any advice or any ideas. Feel free to ask us. It's always a pleasure to try and help. If you're new here and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you know when we upload another video. And as always, thank you again for watching.